In this video, we're going to take a look at another option that is available within the fluting toolpath in Carveco Maker Plus. So if you haven't watched the Carveco Fundamentals fluting, I suggest you watch that video first as it gives you all the basics within fluting. This is just an additional feature within Carveco Maker Plus. So here you can see that I've created this shape, this vector shape. And let's say for instance, I wanted to create a few copies of this. Now what I have done is that I've changed the start point because fluting only really works well on open vectors. So what I've done is if I zoom in at the top here, I've basically cut a little hole in the top there just to make sure that I've got the top there as my start point okay just done that by node editing so if I go back to see everything and I'm going to create a rotational copy of these and let's just do it say three copies of these okay so it creates sort of a weird shape now, the only reason that I want this is because when I do the fluting, I want it all to cross over, okay? So let's rotate that around. And here you can see that I've already got a fluting toolpath generated. So I'm going to open that and let's select all my vectors. So what I'm doing is just a finish depth of 0.2. I'm using the quarter inch ball nose and I've got linear start flute. Let's change those to be curved and curved. And it's going to go 20% from the start. And then it's going to come back up 20% at the end. So let me just calculate this. And let me simulate it. Okay, so there you can see it's doing the fluting. So what it's doing is I've forced it to slowly come down here, okay, at the points that I specified. Now you can see that it's crossing over in the center and I'll be completely honest with you, it doesn't look great, okay? I'm not very happy with it, it doesn't look good, okay? So what I want to do is to sort out these crossovers. And I can do that by weaving the crossovers. So if I delete the simulation, open up the fluting again, let's turn on the vectors. And it's just a simple checkbox. So just click weave crossovers. So if you're using Carveco Maker, you won't see this option. This is only available in Carveco Maker Plus or Carveco. So if I select calculate now, and then I simulate it, you will get a completely different outcome. Okay, so what's happening here is that it's coming up and over and it's creating a basically a weave effect when it crosses over each other. Okay, so if we take a look here, you can see it's slowly coming up and then coming back down and it's doing it over the whole thing. Okay, and it's not giving me that really bad effect that I had before. And it actually looks as though it's all one continuous line now. Okay, so that's all that you need to do. Just turn on that checkbox and then you can weave the crossovers.